everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our daily card reading for May 7th, 2021. Okay. What have we to see? <laughs> there it is. All right. Oh, it's orange again. Oh, we were just having that whole discussion yesterday. Okay, so it's orange. Nurture yourself. Number 16 reduces to seven. Yes, this is one of my cards that has completely peeled off. I don't know if you can see that there, but um, this is your sexuality. We got to go deeper into that. This is creative life force. And for the purpose of this video, I will call that creative life force. Okay. So when that gets sort of, um, I want to be careful here because I don't want anybody to feel shamed or anything. Again, we'll have our expression, but a lot of times people, you know, we've all gone through this journey of learning, of course. And there are times where people just need that for validation, maybe specific people in, in a certain moment, no judgment. Um, but that's how they're learning. Or people just have to completely, because they're not healing themselves. I've seen this, okay, I've seen this firsthand, doing this line of work. I try to be very open-minded in my own life. And I have had people come up and tell me, everything. Okay. They, they share a lot with me. I'm just one of those souls. Like I, that's kind of why I'm here is for people to share with me. But anyway, I have heard, uh, some things that people go out and want to, uh, be a part of, and that's all well and good, but they're not doing it from a healthy standpoint. Okay. Then they can't understand why their lives get all blocked. It's because they're not providing their own light. They're feeding off of this manifestation energy, this creative life force from other people. Okay. So, I mean, we could go into a lot of examples, but I'm sure you could, you know, come to conclusions. And again, it comes down to just understanding, not just where you give your energy away. Yes. And I'm not saying that you can't have freedom. Of course you can. You express, everybody has a different, uh, you know, human existence. So you express in the way that is right for you, but respect yourself. Now, this also goes into emotions. We got to talk about that. You have to ask yourself what emotional trigger am I experiencing right now? And how is that informing my choices? So you notice this whole thing is all about healing, releasing. And I know that that can get <laughs> kind of cliche after a while. You got to heal and release, heal and release. What are we talking about? It's Archangel Raphael, it's Archangel Michael. Huh? You know, <laughs> I get that. But what does that really mean? It means sitting with yourself. As I've always said, 2020 in a way was a gift. And I love your comments, by the way. I love when you guys share. Oh man, uh, I don't remember what day that was, but it was last week sometime. And we were talking about 2020 and people were like, here's what I learned. And this is what I got out of that. And actually I'm better for it. So something that was, depends on who you talk to, maybe meant to silence us. <laughs> we don't need to go down that road. Leave it to the experts to go down that road. But you know, there really was some blossoming that came of it. Why? Because we were faced to look at ourselves. And I know in 2020, that's when I was finally ready to do the hard work, to really look at those things that I have had hidden away myself. You know, I spoke about that a couple of days ago. So you're not alone. I'm right here with you. But this is that time to look at what are the emotional triggers that I have and where do they come from? Again, get proper support as you go through this. Make sure you're going through a lot of self-care and, and let this work its way out. Okay. And, and just be free of it. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.